Good afternoon, YouTubers. T Square with T Square Talk. So today I went and checked out a local um, chicken breeding um, hatchery, I guess you can call it, um, where they specialize in special breeds of birds. Uh, some that are designed for egg laying. They're just just a lot of different high end birds. Uh, I talked to the lady, um, and she said that you know, yeah, they do sell eggs, but they sell a lot of them on on eBay. And we're talking up to like five, ten dollars an egg in some cases. And to me, I wasn't willing to spend that kind of money. Um, but after I got talking to the lady, the lady said, if you're not really concerned about purebreds, she said, I got a bunch of eggs. I'll give you a deal. I actually traded the lady because you guys know how I am when it comes to money. I, I try to promote um, kind of the use of trade, barter, the use of silver, gold specifically amongst everywhere I go. I actually just had a conversation about this the other day about, you know, a lot of people will take silver for something instead of money if you talk with them for a little bit you explain stuff to them and you listen to what they're saying on why this lady breeds chickens you know it started out this lady wanted to breed chickens for meat and eggs but as she got into it she developed a passion for it and for the different breeds of birds and then the purebreds start coming in so after talking with her she gave me an amazing deal i gave her one ounce of pure silver and she gave me five dozen eggs. Um, I did say I don't plan on selling chickens. I like chickens because they're fun. When kids come over, um, they like looking at them. And when I incubate them, people like watching the videos. People like asking me questions. And... I've been getting a lot of questions on the Farm Innovators Incubator. Um, it's that time of the year where everybody loves chickens and people want to get into it. So this Farm Innovators Incubator has actually been sitting in storage now for basically about five or six years, five years I'd say probably. I haven't used it, um, but I put the use into it when I had it. When I had this baby up and running, I mean, I would do it basically. I'd run a batch every month. So questions that I've had come up are these caps. So there's a cap here that should be here, a red cap that has gotten lost over the years in storage. Should have been another one here. Um, I don't have my candling flashlight anymore. I don't know where it went. Um, and usually there's little breathing holes, as you can see right under here they're small breathing holes um but here's why i have the four holes taped up i don't have my caps on here i'm going to be putting tape over this so the question comes up hey my humidity ain't what the book says what i want people to understand big importance temperature Mine happens to be running at 99.5 right now. If you start having a red indicator light come on and start blinking that's a bad thing um, if it's on, it's not the end of the world. Um, if it starts really blinking, that gets bad. So I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to actually open this up for a little bit. We'll let the temperature really plunge. And you start seeing that. You see it blinking? That's bad. Now, there's no eggs in it, so that was just for a trial basis. If it's bad, it's it's basically telling you, come over, take a look at me, see what's going on, read my indicators, and check it out as you can see temperature dropped extremely low 92 degrees it's flashing a single red light not the end of the world humidity common question hundreds of people leave me questions my humidity ain't coming up right okay so one right now there's no eggs in here once you put eggs in that's going to increase humidity two these if they had caps in them, it would keep the humidity in there locked in a little bit more. I plan on putting tape over them because I lost my caps. Um, when you're getting eggs, make sure, another common thing, people think if you have eggs that they're going to hatch. It's not a guarantee. Let me put it this way. Common thing, number one problem I've seen, you cannot go to someone that has just hens, kind of like I did in the end. Uh, in the previous months and use them eggs to hatch. Just because a chicken spits out an egg does not mean it's a fertilized egg. It's the same thing with people. Um, it, I don't want to get too much into anatomy, but women produce an egg, but if it's not fertilized, it's not going to turn into a baby. Uh, here, egg, um, if it's not fertilized, it's not going to turn into a baby. Chicken.
Um, so with that being said, I got to say that because it's a common mistake that I've seen with a lot. You would be surprised how many people. It's nothing bad. If you didn't know, uh, there's a lot of questions out there that people don't know. Other thing, you can't go to the grocery store and get eggs. Just because these are in um, cartons that look like they came from a grocery store, they did not come from a grocery store. This came from someone's backyard, uh, a big backyard hatchery, and she's got hundreds of purebred birds, and so I got some eggs, and I said, you know what, we're going to run it. I'm going to run it. I'm putting 42 eggs in today, and I'm going to show you guys that this incubator still works great, even down the road, if you take care of it. If you throw it in, you're breaking the glass, you're cracking it, it is made out of styrofoam uh, with an outer plastic hard covering. Over time, you can beat it up. Um, I've seen people leave them outside, not really take good care of them. If you take care of them, these things will last, in my opinion, a very long, long time. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to pick out some eggs. Now, as you can see, I've got five dozen eggs here. Uh, only 42 of them are going to make it to the incubator. The rest are going to make it to the kitchen refrigerator and to the breakfast table later in the week. Do I feel bad doing that? That's what they're for. Um, these are not necessarily purebred eggs. These were whatever eggs. When she gets extra eggs, what do you do with them? Well, I mean, they, they make it to the dinner table. Um, so some of these, now I'm gonna cherry pick though my eggs that I am gonna put in here. Um, I like big eggs in the morning when I make my omelets, and therefore I am gonna take the big eggs and put them in the incubator. Um, when people get eggs, generally when they're fancy like this, Cool eggs, these are called Easter eggers. People like that. They like that look. Big brown eggs, people like that. Even if they're big tan eggs, they like that. Little eggs, can you imagine you buy a dozen eggs and they're just these little tiny ones? Not as important. So, tiny ones probably ain't going to make it. But when you guys see all the different chickens she has, I do plan on doing a video um, at her establishment. We spent... The better part of an hour, two hours chit chat, and I tried doing a video, and my camera died. Uh, I shoot a lot of my videos when I'm away from home on camera, and my camera died, my video um, phone died, and that was the end of it. So, with that being said, we're gonna put some of these eggs in here. We're gonna get them started. Make sure you check your eggs. Don't wash your eggs. A lot of people want to wash their eggs before they put them in. Do not wash them. Try to pick clean eggs. Um, if they've got poop all over them, it's part of chicken raising. Don't use those eggs. Wash them off and put them in your refrigerator, and that's it. A um, little soap and water ain't going to hurt them. Uh, some people ask me, do you have to refrigerate them? You know, these have been out of refrigeration now for the last day or two. No, you don't have to refrigerate your eggs. In fact, Americans are like the only people I think in the world that refrigerate their eggs. I actually learned this from YouTube videos. And what I mean by that is I posted a video and someone commented on it. And when she told me that, I could not believe that. And so I put it to the test. I took a dozen eggs. I put it in my kitchen cabinet, brushed them off. I didn't wash them. You can't wash them. Once you wash them, you have to refrigerate them. I put them in my kitchen cabinet and every week I ate one egg until I got to the point where I didn't feel comfortable. On the seventh week of non-refrigeration, my seventh week egg floated. So I was not prepared to eat that egg. Um, and after that, I learned if you're rotating your eggs, you don't need to refrigerate. Now, if you're buying store-bought eggs that have already been refrigerated and washed, you got to refrigerate them. In some countries, they don't allow people to wash their eggs um, before they go to the store because they know they're not going to be refrigerated. Um, so that's some important notes for you guys to think about and give a little thought to. So let's get this incubator filled up. When you do fill this up, I'm going to pull out one egg for a demonstration real quick. Try to keep your larger side on the top, just like that. Smaller side at the bottom. That's because that will give the chicken's head more room to develop on the top and easier for him to get out when he goes to get out. If you put it upside down, um, yes, the baby chicken, when it's small, will develop the other way, but eventually its head and upper portion of the body will basically, it can, 
get stuck in there and give them a hard time. So you want them to have the best advantage going into it. Um, we're gonna do a bunch of videos on this incubator. I've got a ton of videos up, a playlist dedicated specifically to farm innovators. Um, they are and have always been my number one incubator and incubation supplies. Uh, they're a great company to work with. I firmly believe in their product. This happens to be a uh, model 4250. It's been a while since I pulled it out, but I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. We're gonna do a bunch of videos. We're gonna get some beautiful birds. And with that being said, I'm gonna get these loaded up. Okay, so I got it all loaded up. These are my leftover ones over here that will pretty much be breakfast. Um, these are the ones that I chose. I tried to choose a variety of different colors. Mostly I took the bigger eggs though. Uh, the reason I chose bigger eggs, less chance of it not hatching. A small egg, for instance, I'm gonna pull an example out. One of these tiny little eggs right here there's a chance that, that may not hatch um, on the downside because it's such a small egg. It's going to be a different kind of bird, but there's a chance that it may not hatch. You know, I probably should chance putting a couple small ones in there, but I really want to get a good turnout and get a bunch to hatch. Um, I'll have to put a little thought into that here. Uh, there was four eggs over here. These eggs over here, they've got writing on them. Um, she told me she was going to give me some really good eggs, but since there was 60, five dozen, 60 eggs, and I can only take 42, 18 of them ain't going to make it. But if someone took the time to write on this egg, a mix F, um, then that is a chance that that's a pretty good egg, or someone probably wouldn't have write. Uh, this is a purebred, I don't know what kind of that is, plush, Polish, could be Polish, P-O-L, maybe S-H. I don't know. Um, so we got a few there. Uh, she had an amazing collection of birds. I will show you guys that in an upcoming video. One thing to note, the Turner. If you hear it making a noise, somebody somebody left me a comment the other night. Uh, I won't say the, com uh, the comment verbatimly, but if you hear it making a noise, it's probably working. You're not going to see it sit here and go back and forth and give the eggs whiplash. It takes four hours to make a turn. If you're curious, if your thing is turning, if you have doubts, all you gotta do, come over, take a picture of it, look at it. I see my eggs are all pointing that way. I can tell by the, the way I can see under the slots and come back in about two hours, two and a half hours, and see if they're not all pointing towards you. Um, something important to note. So with that being said, we're gonna put the top back on this and we're gonna run this. I may decide just to put three of the smaller eggs in the front because they, she had some really petite chickens um, that were just pretty to look at with their feathers hanging down, looking like a overgrown poodle, I guess you could say. Um, the way the hair just draped down over it is pretty crazy. Um, and I'm sure maybe them smaller eggs that I didn't use any of, Maybe they came from that. I wish I had another one. Um, I did uh, drop my original one and I broke the motor on top. Um, so I don't have two full incubators right now. I may end up getting another one if this turns out to do really well. We'll see. There's big money in specialty chickens. Um, some people might believe, oh, there's not enough to go around. If everybody was selling them, then you wouldn't make any money. And that's true. If everybody was selling them, there wouldn't be enough to go around. However, you're not going to find everybody that's going to put the work in. They might put the work in for a little bit. But after that, they're going to give up because it is work hatching out chickens. This is going to be in uh, my living room here for the next three weeks and then after that i got to set up a broider i'm going to show you guys all them videos for those of you guys that have been tied to the channel for a long time you love the chicken videos uh, this is an opportunity and if you want to get into this i recommend you go to maybe your local track supply or an amazon account i'm not going to give you guys a link on where you can go buy it i'm not trying to make any money off anybody i like farm innovators i always have their quality of product that they put out are phenomenal 
Um, it's a great product and it's relatively inexpensive um, for the quality of product that you're getting compared to other brands. Someone may be asking right now, man, you've got it open all this time. You know what? The egg sitting here in this is no different than the egg sitting here over here. Um, once they start the process, because in nature, a mom will lay a bunch of eggs, but will not sit on them until she has the right amount of eggs that she wants. And magically, they all seem to come out pretty much within a day or two of each other. So that's why once the, incuba once the incubation process starts, then you want to keep it closed. Open it as little as possible um, to maybe add water. But you know one of the great things about the newer models, which this... This is the first day when the new models came out, I happened to get one the first week, is this little pull tab right here. No piece of grass. Is this. So what this is, it's a little pull plug. It gives me access to the water chamber underneath, so I can stick a little turkey baster in there, squeeze some water, and I don't have to open all this and take it all apart. The original ones, you had to do that. You had to pull all this out, put the water in there, and then close it all up. But now, you can just put it in there, fill it. It's easy. Uh, it's a great thing, really. This is an awesome feature that they've added. Um, one other thing that I do, a lot of people don't recommend, uh, the book does not recommend this. I'm going to be right up front because I'm going to hear it and I have heard it in many videos. Why do you keep, uh, your egg turner in here? Okay. So the eggs have been in this position for pretty much 18 days, let's say. And then all of a sudden you're going to take them all out. You're going to just lay them on the ground and let them roll around, weigh them in the box and roll around in there. I don't like doing that. What I do, I unplug this. This will get really hot. Man, it's already hot. So this will get hot. If a chicken hatches and runs over here and rubs up on this, he will get severely burned. If his feet get caught in here, he will break a foot, little leg. They're tiny little legs. But if you're patient... You wait for this to level out, and then you unplug it. This will cool off. This will stop turning. The eggs will stay in the position that they have been in since the beginning. Um, and I do that. Is it a little more work to clean this? Yes. Do I want to soak this in water? No, it's a motor. You don't want to soak it. I've got to say that. Because some people won't understand that. I don't want anybody thinking that I'm getting bad at giving bad advice. When I used to do this, I was running 38 out of 42, which is a very high number. But here's the truth. If you get 30 out of 42, if you even pull 75%, you've done well. Technically, uh, a family of maybe one child, two adults, if you're getting six eggs, uh, six eggs a day, you're probably doing good, which means six chickens a day, you're doing good, which means if you get six chickens out of here, you're going to do very well. But here's the way I look at it. When I bought these, I wanted to make my money back, which means either I had to sell some baby chickens or I had to sell some eggs once the chickens grow up and have eggs. Um, is it a big money-making profit? No. It's a lot of work, but it is worth doing. I enjoy it. I like the stability. And with inflation, we talk a lot about that on the channel. Um, Having a bunch of eggs coming out every day, at my peak, I was getting roughly three or four dozen eggs a day, and with the price of eggs, uh, y'all know, it's getting expensive, so that's the way I view it, and with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If I didn't answer a question for you, leave a comment below, and I will answer that question for you in a upcoming video, or I'll just shoot you a message. So we're going to go through the process. I'm going to get this shut up. I thank you all for watching. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.